Hello everyone, welcome back to the Military Analysis Channel. Despite Moscow's partial withdrawal from Syria, additional Russian forces have appeared to the theater. One unconfirmed report suggests that Russia has deployed the Iskander short-range ballistic missile to the region, a potentially worrying development if true. The weapon would allow Russian forces to strike deep into Turkey, Jordan, Lebanon, and Israel with virtual impunity, though Tel Aviv has been actively working with Moscow to deconflict their forces. The 9K-720 Iskander-M is a powerful short-range ballistic missile known as the SS-26 Stone in NATO parlance. While export versions of the missile range 280 kilometers and a payload of 480 kilograms, the weapons destined for domestic service have a range of 500 kilometers. Other sources, such as the Missile Threat Project, estimate that the domestic version of the Iskander has a shorter range, about 400 kilometers, and a payload of about 700 kilograms. That means that the nuclear-capable Iskander-M complies with the limitations of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, treaty. Nonetheless, the missile effectively replaces the OTR-23 Oka SS-23 Spider nuclear-tipped ballistic missile, which was eliminated by the INF treaty. Both versions of the Iskander have a single warhead equipped terminal guidance system, but the missile's accuracy depends on the variant. According to Missile Threat, a purely inertial guided variant would have a 200 meter circular probability of error accuracy, but coupled with GPS or GLONASS, that could be reduced to 50 meters or less. If those systems were supplemented by radar or electro optical sensors, the Iskander's accuracy could be better than 10 meters. The Iskander can be equipped to carry a variety of warhead types. These include a high explosive HE variant, submunition disperser variant, fuel air explosive variant, and a HE penetrator variant. The Russian domestic variant can also be used to deliver a nuclear payload. That means the Iskander is a versatile weapon. The Iskander was designed to evade missile defenses. According to Missile Threat, the weapon can maneuver at more than 30 grams during its terminal phase. It's also equipped with decoys to spoof interceptor missiles. The Iskander is extremely difficult to intercept with current missile defense technologies. The Iskander is not a strategic weapon, it's a tactical ballistic missile. It would be used to destroy both stationary and moving targets during combat operations. Targets would range from surface-to-air missile batteries, enemy short-range missiles, airfields, ports, command and communication centers, factories, and other hardened targets. Because of the missile's ability to overcome missile defenses, Moscow has placed Iskander M launchers in Kaliningrad. The weapon allows Russia to use its Baltic exclave to threaten U.S. missile defense installations in Poland and, more generally, to intimidate its neighbors. It's probably why Russia deployed the weapon to Syria if the reports of the missile's presence are correct. Meanwhile, Russia has not stopped development work on Iskander upgrades. New missiles are being developed for the system. This system, the Iskander-M, has a great potential for modernization, which is happening in terms of armaments and missiles. The standard array of missiles is growing and new missiles are being developed. Alexander Dragovolovsky, Deputy Commander of Russia's Missile Forces, told state-owned Sputnik in November 2015.